There you go, so what's going on, Jet Fan here again. Message truth is on the screen. Artillery plotting room uh, in number four. And slot one is the secondary build. Um, Thon Hipper is an inspiration with the uh, secondary perk in slot two. Um, so 10.5 kilometers here. I like to spec for the secondaries in this thing. Uh, you see right there, 17 for the main battery, 10.5 for the secondary. Uh, Massachusetts is a very, very dangerous brawler. Let's be honest here. Dangerous, dangerous ship. Um, the artillery plotting room, to me, makes the Willis Lee build uh, very viable in this ship. On top of the secondaries that are dangerous and deadly accurate against uh, cruisers and destroyers. So, uh, don't sleep on a Massachusetts if you're in a cruiser or a destroyer. Um, those guns hit hard, even with the uh, Lee build. Um, this is a pretty good game. Uh, you're going to see this Massachusetts really shine here. Um, now, to be perfectly honest, the reason why I had to pull up that screen um, where it shows the pause menu is because I haven't played this ship in maybe since a couple weeks it came out. Um, so it's been a long time since I've taken the ship out. I just it was sitting there. I was going to take the Iowa out. Then I decided, you know what, I'm going to take Massachusetts out. I haven't taken it out in a long time. Um, and I did take it out. My U.S. line, I really like Willis Lee. Um, the, the only guy that I, the only ship that I think uh, really needs the Sims build is the Iowa. Um, and that's because I spec the thing out for a full dispersion um, and long range hitter. But other than that, I think the U.S. line um, is relatively accurate and does pretty well with the uh, base accuracy. And then on, uh, on this Massachusetts, you get that slot four perk where you throw artillery plotting room on there that it cuts your dispersion by almost 11 percent that's like almost putting a uh, an accuracy commander on there you know so um i i, I really uh like this ship um, and playing this round really reminded me how much i i enjoy playing this massachusetts and just how powerful and the carry potential it has so you see i'm looking at the destroyers here um obviously a threat I, I'm, I'm pinging our friendly destroyer. I, I need him to turn back around, and I want him to spot and engage the enemy destroyers because uh, you know I'm trying to say, hey, I'll, I'll be here. I'll take some shots. You see there, we get three overpants, 4,500 damage on the Z23. That's a pretty good shot there. Um, again, I'm going to emphasize it every time in one of these videos. If you see the destroyer, take a shot at the destroyer um, because even if you hit one or two over overpens, it's it's substantial for them. Okay, destroyers don't have that health pool, and if your friendly destroyer is in a fight with an enemy destroyer, a lot of times those come down to whose team helps out uh, more, and who can um, enlist their team and get their team to shoot at uh, the other destroyer. So you see a good uh, good sample there on, uh, on an angled turp, it's 10k incapacitation. Now you're going to see the secondaries open up. Again. The way that I like to play this, I like to try to act as if I don't have the rear gun as much as possible. I try to keep Massachusetts bow in. I try to keep it well angled. You saw us throw the hooks on there and the torps go sailing by. Reason for that is because we anticipated torpedoes on the way. So you throw it in, you throw it hard and forward, right? And then you, you hope that they throw the torpedoes at you on that course and then you, you slow down, you know, substantially and then you see them go harmlessly sailing by. If you look here, I have the spotter plane um, right now. I have been going back and forth whether I want to put a spotter plane, um, the fighter for anti-aircraft, or um, the secondaries uh, perk mod. Um, that they're uh, consumable, I should say. Uh, I think all three are, are arguable. They all have a place that you know a position that can be for, uh, argued for. Another big ripper salvo on the turpits. So you're seeing this U.S. battleship line, right? I mean, that's it's a it's a well armored target. And this is not a dispersion build. And I, I just chunked them for two salvos for twenty two thousand some odd damage, something like that. I mean, you know, what more do you need to see to show that, that this Massachusetts doesn't necessarily need a uh, you know a Sims on there? And then you get the five heels. So I took some damage. You, you see me pop the heel there. This turpits, I think, is going to keep turning out. So I throw the salvo up high. I'm going to try to hit superstructure, upper belt. Another big uh, 
big hit there, right? Turpitz is, is almost on its last leg here. He's, he pops the heel. So our friendlies are, are trying to focus him down. This Turpitz, I had a feeling, was going to rush too, and that's another reason why we threw the hooks on. You know, the Turpitz and these German battleships, um, they're as effective as you let them be. So when people push suicide torp style and you throw the hooks on and you seal in reverse and you force them to have to keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, they're going to give broadside to one of your friendlies. And there you go, see another salvo. Take the uh, turpits out there. We're up to 50,000 damage. Secondaries are chiming in. We're at almost 60 secondary hits already here. We're over 60 now. This Bismarck. Uh, and I want you to just pay attention here to the secondary damage ticker. Okay. You know, the superstructure on these German battleships, on battleships in general, look at those at 500 a pop. Three, two, three, four, five. I mean, it, it, it adds up. Okay. Um, that, that passive damage, if you will, almost like a fire damage. It adds up, and then you throw the main batteries, and you know you just you keep working them over. You take the Bismarck strength, its secondaries, and I basically have this thing spec as most as much as I can get it to be ten and a half kilometers. Unless the Bismarck has a full secondary spec, I'm gonna match it toe for toe. Okay, and without, to be perfectly honest with you, if I take somebody who knows what they're doing in the Bismarck and somebody who knows what they're doing in Massachusetts. I think Massachusetts wins that fight uh, all day, every day. The only way Bismarck wins that fight, in my opinion, is if Massachusetts makes a mistake, gives broadside, um, or isn't using the right shell types, etc. Massachusetts, I think, is a better ship than the Bismarck. I think it's a very, very strong um, battleship at Tier 7, and I, and I think that, to be honest with you, it might be one of the most powerful battleships at Tier 7. Um, you can make the case for Iowa, but to be perfectly frank, in my opinion, uh, this ship has the secondaries, and, it, and they're good secondaries. These are not some, some mess around secondaries that don't um, get the job done. They are, they, they hit their marks, okay? We're up over 100 secondary hits, 85,000 damage. Um, I don't know why these two battleships sailed around the corner, broadside on, but you look at the where our team's at and how we're playing, I really wedged myself into A. I'm not going to give up A here. I'm going to force these guys to keep coming at me, and as they come around that corner, I'm going to punish them. That's my plan. Uh, my plan is to keep the secondaries engaged. I want to stay about 10 kilometers. I don't want to get too close to where that uh, they can you know, ram me or suicide rush me or whatever, but I want to keep them close enough to where if they flash broadside like these two are right now, like this King George and this Gennison now, I want to have the ability to punish them for it. Okay, So I did have a bad salvo right there. You see me take the shot out. I was actually aiming for the Gneisen out here. Um, and I get lucky. We have six, yeah, four, five, six hits out of six. So, again, this is not an accuracy build. And at almost nine and change, I hit six out of six shells that I threw at him. So, that artillery plotting room is, a, in my opinion, very important. Okay, I like the secondary build, but I don't like to put the secondary mod in the slot four. This Bismarck is sailing in aggressively again, doing what Bismarck's do. Flashing a little too much cheek, a little too much broadside. He's got to tighten that angle up um, by, you know, maybe 5, 10 degrees. Um, really forced me to have to shoot into his upper structure. He's not really focusing on me. I'm going to angle a little bit. You see what's going on here. Okay, the, my secondaries are doing damage to his superstructure. His secondaries are doing damage to my superstructure, but I have the better main guns. This Gneisen now is sailing broadside. I'm going to take the shot in. And pay attention to this Gneisen now here. Um, it, it, it's a ripper salvo. Okay, there you go. 10k salvo right there on the Gneisen now. On a non accuracy build. Do not sleep on the Massachusetts guns. All right. We're going to pop another heel coming up here in a second. I mean, this ship has taken a beating this game, and we're still over half our health with an extra heel in the bag. So this Bismarck here, sailing around. Okay, good job by the Indianapolis to have some fires on him, helping out. I was pinging him, I was worried he was going to try to do a ram on me. That was my main concern. Uh, good job by the friendlies on our team, Indianapolis. Uh, strong cruiser. Played ahead a pretty strong game here, so uh, I appreciate him helping me out and getting some fires and getting some damage on uh, that Bismarck because could have ended much differently here. So now I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to push around the corner here. Um, and at this point, I'm saying I, I want a big game. 
so I do the selfish play here. Uh, I, I'll, I'll admit it. I'll call myself out on it. If we lost this game, 100% would have been on me. Uh, I'm not going to sail into A. I'm going to try to go chase these two battleships down. Or, excuse me, battleship and cruiser down. Uh, so the winning play, the smart play, would be to get on A. And as I'm kind of committing to this uh, aggressive damage chasing move, I think about it and I try to ping our friendly destroyer to get onto A. Um, you're going to see that coming up here. So I'm making the selfish play. I'll call myself out on it. Not a good play. Not a winning play. It's a play where I'm trying to get a video to show you guys and say, hey, look at all this damage I got. And, Ooh, I'm so good because, because we all know damage is the only thing that matters in this game. You know, not spotting, not capping, not, it's the only thing that matters. So, um, that's sarcasm, obviously. So, um, <laughs> uh, I'll call myself out on it. It was a shitty play. Not a good decision by me. Um, so, thank goodness I have a friendly, uh, destroyer who is trying to play to win. Because you see, we lost another ship, and how easy would it be if I get this Iowa who just somehow has a good angle on me, or I think it's in a, uh, the, or the cruiser with torps, right? And I get I get sunk here, and now it's our destroyer and a battleship against a battleship, and you know, and now they're we're down points, and uh, it, it it very easily could have turned back the other way. Is what I'm trying to say. So that by the friendly destroyer securing A. Right, we're gonna at the worst case maintain a 90 plus point lead because if you look, the enemy is capturing C. So, if that our friendly destroyer didn't capture A, they'd be gaining three points every second here. Okay, that's that's that, that's gonna add up quickly. Okay, I was flashing me broadside here, trying to line the shot up over the mountain. I throw a salvo out here, I'm gonna try to tuck it, tuck the back end in. Uh, let's see, we got a 13 almost 14,000. Uh, damage salvo right there no citadels um, if you notice i haven't had a citadel in this game uh, i just think that's that's just luck uh, to me um, i don't care about citadels so much i care about the the consistent damage dealing ability and with the artillery plotting room uh, the damage dealing is consistent that's for sure so this iowa flash and broadside again uh that can't time we get another 7k salvo so four out of the six shells hit. I'm, I did not want to push around this corner, and the reason why is because if you look behind this island on my uh, starboard side, you are going to see uh, you saw those shells come flying out. So that's a, that's a destroyer or a cruiser. That's a right around there. I push around this corner. That cruiser is going to send some shells my way, and probably a couple of uh, little fish, you know, little, little torpedoes. And then uh, I'll be off the board. So I don't want to push around this corner. I want to force this guy to sail. You see my secondaries on my star, on my starboard side, or excuse me, uh, port side. Uh, opening up, still on the Iowa, getting damage two, three hundred a pop here. You know, um, I am trying to bait that uh, cruiser to come around the corner. He is not going to take the bait. Iowa, for some unbelievable reason, decides, hey, I don't want to uh, keep playing in this match. So I'm just going to flip. Again, eight kilometers, you see the double citadel, 26,000 damage. So he says, I'm just gonna flip around, you know, give give uh, this Massachusetts seven kilometers my broadside. Good job there by the friendly and Eisenhower. Uh, taking out the Iowa, we're up to 198,000 damage. 198,000 damage, this might be the best game I've had in the Massachusetts. If it's not the best, it's one of the best ones. I'm expecting this Siri to come out around the corner, suicide to or do something crazy. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm holding off on putting this fire out. Reason being is because, heaven forbid, I get some torps on me. I don't want to go down, you know, because of that. I want to be able to damage con that and then keep pushing him and turn around the corner. Uh, something like that, you know. So I don't want to uh, throw the damage con on quite yet. You see the... Uh, I pop up there. I got radar, or excuse me, I got sonar. I threw him to the upper superstructure. Secondaries are chiming in. And uh, I believe the secondaries, there you go. Secondaries get a kill. These are deadly secondaries, boys, boys and girls. So hope you enjoyed that game in the Massachusetts. We're going to have a quick look at the end screen here. But again, I, I, I do not mind calling myself out. It was a selfish play. I should have capped the uh, A cap. 
Um, but I had a good destroyer that built me out, so a uh, good team play by him, big play by him. Um, not the best play by me. 210,000 damage, three sinkings. Look at all that. Uh, medals on the bottom there, close quarters, Confederate, Dreadnought. I mean, you name it, 2,900 base XPP, almost 3,000. So uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a like. We'll see you next time on the high seas.